And this is why against all logic and because the Yetzirah is using everything against the people that the that Yetzirah is coming. No matter where you go, the shade is walking with you, the darkness is following you. Even to the highest places, to the most illuminated places in the world, you know, in the, in the sports stadiums, you see all of the lights from all of the corners you see and the player is standing in the middle and he's got four shades <laughs> so much light so four shades you have because you you came to a place that now you you everything is illuminating if you still have some physical being if you're not spiritual if you haven't nullified yourself completely the shade gonna be there with you the yet are gonna follow you to that place so this is why we need to understand. We need to focus on something that's going to beat him, that's not going to let him have no opportunity against us. So Yetzirah is using every situation to come. In every situation, he is pushing himself into the picture also. And if you want to serve Hashem Barach, so he cannot tell you, hey, come, let's sin, hey, go, party. No, you're going to say, no, for sure, no, I'm not, I'm not, for, it's not my, 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 my issue in life. I, I, I choose to serve Hashem. So he has to hide himself inside of the mitzvot. He has to trick you. He has to give you advice and reasons to sin without knowing that it's actually a sin. So he's going to tell you, yes, go, be religious. Hey, yes, you need to be chassid. Hey, you need to roll yourself in the snow. Hey, you have to finish time in Kabe and you need to learn halachot and two halachot a day minimum, and you have to go to this class and that class. And yes, your children, yeah, you put them in the best Talmud Torah. Okay, now you can forget about them. Go, complete your Kedusha. Go, work on your eyes. Go do this. Your children? No, your wife, she's crying. No, okay, she's, you know that she's problematic. Okay, move on. And, and, and then you lost the main part of your life, that it's your wife and your children. Those are the people that you need to bring all of the Shefa, all of the purity, all of the wisdom, all of the light that you purchased in Avodat Hashem, that you received from the loving kindness of Hashem. You need to hand it to the next generation. That's your wife and your children. If you abandon them in the Talmud Torah and in, and in, in the house to do whatever, that is, they have their own obligations. They need to learn now. They need to prepare themselves to real life. No, no, no. It's your mitzvah. They're not commanded at all. You cannot command them. They're exempt from everything. Your wife, she's exempt of everything. Try to check. She's exempt from everything. Allah is exempting her from everything. And your children, of course, they don't have no responsibility. Even after being 13, until they reach 18. And if you're a man of truth, you're going to understand that even in 18, you cannot set them free. You need to make sure that they're going to succeed in life. It's your responsibility because if in the age of 18 they're not qualified, they're not ready yet, so it means that you messed up when they were 13 and, and 11 and 5 and 6. So this is why you, it's your responsibility even to fix until the age of 26 and 32 and sometimes 44 and 72. Because Hashem Barach, he's going to ask why they are not taking responsibility when they're 20. Oh, because of that experience when they were 10. So it's your fault because you made you messed up when they were 10. So it's your responsibility. So this is why a person always needs to fight against the Yetzara. And the only way that we can fight against the Yetzara, it's like that he, we need to learn from our enemy. Like that the Yetzara is attacking you from every situation, from every angle, from every aspect. He's just, you're learning, he's over there with you. You're praying, he's over there with you. You're eating, he's there with you. You're talking, he's there with you. That's how you need to fight with him. In every situation, you need to bring Hashem Barach to the picture. And that's the only solution, because if you're going to try to fight and to argue and to investigate and to find ways how to beat the Yetzirah on the eating, on the Ta'avat Achila, on the desire for food, you're going to lose your mind on that concept. Yetzirah is going to wrap you like a, like a, like a, 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 a rattlesnake. He's he just going to wrap you. He's going to come all around you. The faith needs to surround you. You need to be covered with faith all around, from every angle, to know it's all Hashem. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.